hope you all are doing great. Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the post installation performance matrix of Mac OS 26 Tahoe Beta. Before we begin, let me quickly walk you through the system specifications in which I have installed this Mac OS on. For that, I'll navigate to about this Mac. And as you can see, we have with us the Intel i3D100T processor and UHD 630 is the inbuilt iGPU. If I discuss about what is exactly working and what is not for the key essential like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, USB. So let's quickly move to the system report. Coming first to the audio, we have with us three lines, i5 Thunder microphone that is my iPhone connected for the microphone support. Line out is the inbuilt audio channel in the Dell Optimus 3060 and the HDMI output works perfect. We don't have the Bluetooth working as of now. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are completely broken until the OCLP patches comes later this year. Speaking about the USB now, there is a catch. If you want to install macOS Tahoe on your system, you need to have your USB patch because without it, even though Tahoe would get successfully installed, but you won't be able to use your keyboard or mouse or no sign of any USB support until and unless you have your USB mapped. We'll drop a video later on this how you can easily map your USB for this installation. Moving to the next section, let me quickly wait to the what are the key changes in this OS as compared to the previous generation Mac OS 15 Sequoia. So there is a bunch of changes in the customization overall. Let me walk you through the appearance section of the settings. Major changes has been made in the icon and widget style. We have with us the default the one we are used to then we have the dark section we'll turn the all the icons dark it's a bit laggy so this is the dark icon set we have with us the new one are clear and tinted tinted is something that will catch to the color of your wallpaper And a bunch of new wallpapers added to it for example we have the indian indian sceneries like the goa beaches goa coast himalayas and let me just set it to this so this is how it looks now after the tinted icons to the color so this is overall the changes are mainly UI and one more thing the app drawer is now gone we have the sport size sport light search integrated with the app drawer itself so won't be able to have it separately now quickly coming to the EFI which we have used in this installation I'll navigate to that so discussing about the text which I have used first so Apple ELC is as usual for the order support Lilo whatever these are only essential the one that I have used which wasn't there earlier in the Sequoia is the null ethernet text which is used if you don't have any inbuilt ethernet port set as en us0 or en0 for i services so this is essential if you want to use i services like i messages or facetime to have any of your network channel set to en0 now the next is usb port as i stated before also usb mapping is essential for mac os to high so we have with us the customized usb port dot we will drop a video later on this so these are only two essentials which were not earlier in the Sequoia but are essential to install Mac OS Tahoe on your PC. Now speaking of the config.p list. For device properties I have added 4 customizations. This one is for sound output and this one is for the frame buffer patch. Now if you are also using the Dell of the place 360 you need to have this frame buffer to enable the HDMI output otherwise it will just keep rebooting or will lead to a black screen. Now the last section of this video will quickly have a Geekbench test and will compare what is the generational leap or the generational downgrade in the performance for this macOS. We'll open the Geekbench 6. And let us run a CPU bench. So 
So this is the final Geek Band 6 result. We have 990 as the single cost score and 1875 as multi cost score at iMac 20 comma 2 SMBIOS. If we compare it with the last generation of Mac OS, we had earlier 106 as single core at 2772 multi cost score. So there is a significant downgrade in the overall performance with this upgrade in Mac OS.